Yo, what's the vibe? Ras Lunacy is a YouTube channel documenting Aaron Belinfante's Rastafarian journey. That being said, I do not support the illegal consumption of drugs in any way, shape or form. Persons under 18 should not consume cannabis under any circumstance. And if you're under 18, you should not be watching this video. Thank you. Yo, what's the vibe guys? Ras Lunacy signing back in. I know y'all didn't hear from me last week. Last week Wednesday. I'm, um, last week Friday um, <clears throat> I don't have a good excuse um, I even shot the video and didn't edit it or anything I just left it there it was a video of me just like hotboxing my bathroom um, I guess I'll say something like what do the YouTubers do nowadays 15 likes and I'll, and I'll drop that video but yeah <clears throat> this is just like a life update video not only a life update video but also a video about about getting out of social media and just getting to your higher self and spirituality and stuff. Now, I've been going through some shit, like a whole lot of it, right? And honestly, the chosen ones will always have the hardest battles. It's not, it's not, the, the, all this depression and stuff you go through, it's a stepping stone to get into your higher self, right? Now, not to say everyone who's watching my videos is a chosen one, a lot of y'all are going to stay basic and are going to stay two-dimensional for the rest of your lives. You're just going to be a basic person. And there's no helping you and that's just unfortunate to say. But for those of you watching my video about this spirituality and stuff, most likely you're one of the chosen ones because you're actually interested in the topic. So, if you got to this point and I'm going to continue speaking, you're probably, you, you, you have a better chance of making it. And you're probably here wondering, what the hell does he mean by making it? And by making it, I mean making it to your higher self, becoming aware of this, this, this physical world, what we're in, becoming who you really want to be, um, becoming what you were put on this world to do, right? And I'm just in nature. I haven't been in nature for a while. I've been cooped up, stressed out, um, Wondering if I'm going back into depression or some shit. Nothing. No, no, I was not going back into depression. Everyone has low points. Um, it's how you get through those low points is what matters. Um, it's November. I was supposed to do a video updating y'all guys on... No, not November. Because if y'all are masturbating in November, come on. You can't do the month of November from now on. If you're watching this video right now. For every November after this, as a matter of fact, if you're in, you're, you're, we're still in November right now, if you're watching this, stop masturbating, stop, mas stop jacking off, think about it, why are you looking at two people having sex while you masturbate, while you, while you use your, you use your hand and you, you stroke your own dick. You, get, you, you look online and everyone is like, you look online at all these health things and you're like, yeah man, it's, it's healthy, it's this, it's that, it's not a natural thing, bro. Porn didn't always exist, how is it supposed to be a natural thing, bro? That's not okay. It's not, it really isn't. It really isn't. And I used to be, I used to be addicted to masturbation back in grade 8. I remember I used to come home almost every day and masturbate. Twice a day, three times a day. What was wrong with me as a child? Like... Can you just imagine a 13, 14 year old coming home every day from school? I don't stay home. Like, all right, I'm not gonna say I, the only thing I did was masturbate, but the only things I did was, I used to, I had a, I had a literal regimen, get home, masturbate, play games. By the time play games till night, when it's night, masturbate to bed. What the fuck? Masturbating twice a day, that's, that, that's not normal. It isn't. It isn't, and anyone who tells you otherwise is, 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 is they're three-dimensional and they won't make it. They really won't. I see people on Twitter talking all the time about stuff like, shit like, oh, we just masturbate to go to bed. We just masturbate to go to bed. What the fuck? Does that sound okay? No, does that sound okay? Bro, when you masturbate, and you jerk off, you look at yourself, you're like, damn, why did I just do that? You, 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 you start to say to yourself, hmm, man, did I really just do that to myself? You're looking at your hand, you're looking at your cum, you're, seeing your, you're cleaning up, 
you, you, you don't feel good about it afterwards you just feel good in the process and before and the, the, the weird part is I don't know if the, I don't know if you remember the first time you masturbated because that must have been a long time for a lot of you but you didn't you didn't come as fast as you did now now you've you've probably ventured off into your own sub genre sub 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 genre of 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 of, of pornography mine was ebony solo porn i won't even cap around it i loved myself some ebony solo but nigga that's not good the fact of the matter is that i'm attracted to ebonies so i need to go out into the world and find myself an ebony why am i watching a black girl on a screen masturbate while i masturbate go out find a black girl and fuck her jesus christ like just the fact that you know you can find an attractive black girl online masturbate to and climax off of it literally you literally you, you don't say to yourself that you won't go out but you literally you subconsciously are saying to yourself man you don't need to go out right now you can stay in and fat legit and it's so sad to be honest i'm also a no smoker in november i've been sober seven days now and i'm a daily smoker so it's been pretty hard the smoking shit's been pretty hard the fapping i think you know, fapping for a month not fapping for a month is easy that's some easy shit compared to the smoking shit i really am thinking now that i might be addicted to smoking weed but i don't think i have a problem with being addicted to smoking weed like it's like being addicted to exercising in my opinion if i'm addicted to exercise and i don't feel bad about it if i'm addicted to healthy habits I'm, i don't feel bad about it um a lot of people tell you smoking every day is not good and i'm not gonna tell you here tell you that it's good i really don't think it's the best thing to do but i don't think smoking in moderation is a bad thing in moderation and by in moderation i mean maybe once a week maybe once a month maybe whenever you got whenever you have the time it does open up it i do think it does open up your thinking i never thought like i used to until i started smoking weed never right but aside from that if you're not doing no not november you've already you've already failed that life itself and as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're, if you can't control yourself from masturbating, what can you con What do you control in your own life? What do you? Think about it. What do you really control? Like right now, I've been I've, I've been pretty much vegan and stuff. Like ninety percent, I eat. I'm, I'm like just by getting in control of my diet, I've gotten in control of so much other stuff. Like there was a point when I don't think I could have. I could have. There was a time when I used to smoke seven joints a day seven and now i'm here going seven days without weed today is eight days and i'm gonna be honest i don't think the smoking weed part has had much benefit per se maybe my thoughts on this will will change as november goes on it's only the fifth but not jerking off bro i sat in the bus today and I, I, I literally just sat down listening to music. I do this every single time. And I'm telling you, I've seen this girl before. I've seen her before. She did not see me the last time, but I've seen her before, right? And she, she before the, the, the previous time she came in, she just sat down in a different, she sat in a different seat. She didn't even know I was there. I, I saw her because I'm, I'm here. I, I, I was jerking off maybe once a week at that time. So I wasn't even jerking off every day like some of you motherfuckers. But I saw her and I was like, yo, she's quite attractive. Like, I'm not going to get out of my way, go out of my way to like talk to her or anything. Because at the end of the day, I just didn't have that kind of confidence to do it at the time. And I just really felt like sometimes, you know, time and place, to be honest with you. Like, I don't, I don't try to like talk to girls unless I get a vibe from them almost. So if she looks at me gives me a smile maybe but if she doesn't notice me at all like me just approaching her and stuff might put her in an awkward if i just get up and sit beside her now and start talking to her that might put her in an awkward position in a position where she doesn't want to want to be in so i'm not gonna try and like approach a girl like that but today i'm coming down on the bus and this is all i'm I've, I've, i haven't jerked off in maybe ah uh, damn maybe two weeks i'm not sure now but i, I started no fab like at that I, I, start, I, I started no not November on the first, but I wasn't I wasn't I was only jerking I I, I was on low fat all 2019. You can watch my video on my low fat journey and stuff like that. But I don't I don't masturbate a lot since start of 2019. I've I've, I've stopped that shit. 
I really have and it's 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 I really think it's it started because I realized that jerking off every day is not something that, that benefits me in any possible way, shape or form. It really doesn't. And when you think about it that way you realize then why do I do it every day? If 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 it's only if it's nice for the five minutes and stuff then and then after that I just feel awful for like the next the, the rest of the day then what, what what really is the point per se? And then like even before that jerking off multiple times a day I, 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 I had a chronic addiction it was like I wanted to stop and couldn't stop I couldn't stop and I wanted to but yeah so now I think I, I haven't been I haven't been on no for like eight days now and back to what I was basically saying before is basically I don't remember. I don't think you guys remember the first time y'all masturbated. You, you you probably came in like half an. It probably took you like half an hour to bust off. Nowadays you're in your sub 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 genre busting in two minutes, one minute. You 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 you, 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 you start typing in red tube and you're already getting hard. What the fuck, bro? It's it, like y'all need to get on this no not November shit. Just, if, just try it for November, and I promise you, when you enter December, you're gonna be like, nigga, I ain't going back. I ain't going back. Just try to do the November. Even if, even if, you, I know you have, some of you are already into November. It's November 5th now, and some of y'all are into November already saying, man, it's too late for me. Continue. Continue. Try it. I'm telling you, try for the rest of November. Please, I'm begging you. If you're watching this right now at this time, try for me. Please, I'm begging you. Just try it. No smoke. You don't have to try that, to be honest. I, I've, been, I've been stressed without my, my, my weed, to be honest. I've been really stressed. Um, well, I've been stressed about life and I really think like weed would have helped in a lot of different situations. Um, I do see where I should not have been smoking. Maybe two joints, three joints a day doing bong hits and stuff. I do see where it has its place in moderation. I really do see that. Um, but I saw that even when I was smoking every day. I never once <laughs> thought smoking like... I, I think moderation can be different for everyone when it comes to this one. Because... If your lifestyle, if you're if you're if you're fucking Wiz Khalifa, and you're rich and all of that, then smoking one joint a day is certainly in moderation for you because you don't you, you don't have much to be doing. If you're a Rasta who lives in the mountains, you're taking care of your plants and stuff and stuff. Like smoking one joint a day is in moderation because you could it's not you could be doing much more and stuff, but you just you, you don't need to. You just so I think moderation when it comes to smoking weed does come down to what you do in life I go to school I go to work and a lot of people might be saying I smoke and go to school I smoke and go to work but how much how, 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 how focused are you how focused are you in class because when I smoke weed and I'm in class I, I'll, I'll be super focused maybe for like 15 minutes like absorbing information more better than I've ever and then suddenly I'm, I, I, just, I catch back myself and for the next 20 minutes I was just thinking about some random bullshit like my, my mind just wandered off and I realized that smoking weed and being high has its place in terms of you absorb so much information when you're high that trying to just absorb information from just one thing trying to focus it on try, try, trying to just focus on, on, on absorbing information from one specific place it, it's so hard because so much info so much other information is just coming at you and you just you just start to absorb everything and anything all the information around you to the point where you stop it, 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 it you're no longer as focused basically and you need to be focused at school you need to be focused at work maybe not like, depending on whatever your job is so away from the no smoke no not and back into the spirituality shit I don't want my video being too long because I'm talking a lot, so I guess there won't, this won't have much edits or anything. But back to the spirituality shit. Yeah, there is a person inside of you. What is dying to come out? This person inside of you is a—it's your spirit. There's a spirit, a soul inside of you that wants to come out. It knows what it likes. You know, you—you you may not even remember what you like. What did you like to do as a child? We, we, we do so much shit 
for other people nowadays that we forget what we as people actually like ourselves, what, what we as individuals like. And it's because of stuff like this that have us going to do, it, it's stuff like that that have us doing things that we don't want to be doing. It, like, it's stuff like that that have us doing engineering when we really wanted to, wanted to be a doctor. It's stuff like that that have us doing med when we really wanted to be a lawyer. Because you've forgotten who your true self is. You've just, you, you've just become so accustomed to doing what everyone else expects you to do that you forget what you expect of your own self. Man. And the only way y'all are going to get better is if y'all start connecting with your inner self. And the only way to do that is start taking care of yourself you can't um i don't eat red meat anymore i will never in my life taste pork i will never in my life again taste beef as far as i know a lot of these nuggets and shit they could be putting any fucking meat from any fucking where in them they could be putting humans in it we wouldn't know we'd be eating it anyways it could, it could, there could be so much different shit in it bro i only eat I eat chicken occasionally and I buy my chicken and I cook it so I can see that it was a chicken if you understand what I mean I don't go to McDonald's and say yo can I get a chicken sandwich I, if I'm eating fast food it has to be vegan fast food like no 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 cap I don't trust these motherfucking fast food restaurants but if I'm gonna go to like the supermarket and I see like a whole chicken man it's a chicken guys even if it's like eating GMO shit it is a chicken and I do see where eating meat is more caloric dense, but it does come with a lot of cons eating meat. And I honestly think it's something that should be done to, should be kept to maybe a minimum. I, I eat meat maybe at this point once, maybe twice a month at, at most. And I only do it if my body tells me to. If I'm eating, I've, I'll be eating vegan for two weeks straight and suddenly I have a craving for, 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 so for some fish, for some chicken. And I'll have a little. I won't have a lot. I'll have a little. And I'll be back on my vegan shit after. And, it, that I don't, and you can do the science. If you eat a certain amount of meat, you, you, you develop clogging of the arteries. You get atherosclerosis. And if you eat under a certain amount of meat per day, you can literally reverse the effects. You can literally stop yourself from getting heart disease by eating vegan. No one talks about this because obviously the media, like that's another thing. Y'all need to get off social media. Like I, I think that's my last pillar to, 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 to master, getting off of this social media BS. Social media and just the mass media and just media in general, it's, 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 throwing, it, it's, it's, all, it's all programmed. No one is going to give you information that no one is going to give you information that actually benefits you. You want to swing? For the children, not for you. Oh. Sorry. I think Satan himself just approached me. But I won't say anything. He told me to get off the swing. He told me it's for children, not for people. Listen, you see people like that. People like that. They just don't want to see us drive. Right? If that guy wasn't safe, then he was definitely racist. Because I'm literally just sitting down and I'm pretty sure it's not going to break and there are no children around waiting or anything. But that's besides the point. The point of the matter is you all need to connect to the inner selves. This is Ras Lunas is signing out. I'll try to get a joint at some point and smoke up for y'all on camera because that's what y'all like to see anyways, me being high.